And thus begins game four. We're doing the exact same settings as the previous game, except I'm going to be Greece, uh, Alexander, and Scott is going to be Songhai. Inland Sea, Duel, pretty much everything's identical to what it was before. Greece is an interesting case, and we'll see how this goes. This is, uh, as I said, the fourth game. Uh, you know by now that the score is two games Rim, one game Scott. So this is Scott's chance to even it up. Greece, remember, my main power is going to be that I can be friends with city-states. So I'm going to aggressively pursue friendship with city-states and basically hold on to it to the entire game. My goal is for at least three, if not four, of the city-states to be my allies by the early mid-game. Now, luckily, I'm just going to settle right here. I don't think there's any reason to move. Sugar? Copper. This is already a great spot. I'm going to get my spearmen right away. The hoplites. Oh, and there's marble right there, too, for classical wonders. It's out of range. I'm going to have to build another one. I think that's the edge of the map. Let's see. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's the edge of the map right there. That's the top. So, I could build up here. Most likely, I'm going to try to build over here. I clearly want to go the mining masonry route before I do anything. I pretty much always start with building a monument to push the culture. And I don't know if that is what I should do this time around. Maybe I should do something different. So... Uh, Scott is Songhai. I'll get into my, what his strategy might be as the game progresses a little bit. But my strategy is pretty much to use my hoplites and my companion cavalry. The hoplites will just form the basis of my defense uh, against barbarians more so than against Scott. And the companion cavalry, I'm going to try to find horses and push that. The companion cavalry will be used primarily to harass Scott, uh, attack workers if it can, and generally disrupt him. Scout or Monument? In this map, a scout might actually be a better purchase to go around and get the huts. Because even though I did that only in the last game, because my power then was to choose what I get from the huts. The ruins, they were huts in old Civ games. I just sort of call it, we both call them huts because we're old men. But I did that only because that was their power, and you always double down whatever the Civ's power is. But in this case, I normally wouldn't. I would normally always build the monument first. But I feel like having the scout and seeing where Scott is and just reconnoitering the map early might actually be a big benefit. Because I can just send the scout down pretty quick, collect huts, and hopefully it'll be useful. But at the same time, I always build the monument first and it's always done really well for me. Because I can immediately go for this. I'm going to continue my strategy of monument first. Greece explores the land around her. Pretty sure the donut just goes this way because that's the top of the map here. And Lhasa, being a nice religious friendly place, this is actually really good for me. A friendly civilization is the first one I meet. Uh, I might steal a worker from them. And then, because my reputation with them will recover very quickly, I will then immediately try to make them an ally. I wasn't going to go for religion, because one of Scott's powers is to actually do religious stuff. He has a, his special building is the Mud Mosque, or the Mud Fort Mosque. Uh, it's just a better faith building, so he has to be pushing faith. And I was going to 100% ignore religion, but because I just got a bunch of faith, kind of out of nowhere. Also, I have a hoplite because I opened a hut and it had hoplites in it. I'm going to found a faith. I think I'm going to play the religion game against Scott. Now, last game, uh, I was worried about defense and fighting and Scott. So I did this because that uh, actually, in a small game like this, allows... A very, very spirited defense of cities. But it never came into play because Scott never had a significant army or really ever threatened me at any point. So I might do this again because I don't really want to push religion otherwise. Like, I'm not going to have enough cities for this to really matter that much. This one's almost equally good. 
to that, but that one has the added bonus of I can use it to sort of cycle units around. It gives me more tactical options in a battle. I don't want to do any of this stuff, I don't think. I would do this if I were going to rush the Great Library. But I don't think I'm gonna rush the Great Library, because in the last game, as you saw in the final assessment, Scott building the Great Library and me doing something different instead is literally the moment the game flipped and I was on an irrevocable road to victory. So, this one's pretty good, too. If you get it early like this, like, that is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, I mean, look. I've got five science. That would give me six science immediately. I'm making three culture. I get four culture immediately. It's actually a tough decision. Do I worry about warfare? Do I take the domestic growth? Well, I'm not going to push religion. So as much as this would be very useful, I might actually just go with God King... Yeah, I'm not going to build any of this other stuff. I just get that very early boost of everything. It also means I'll slowly accumulate faith later. Uh, now, I'm worried about the military situation, especially if I'm a little aggressive. I think I am going to go with the faith healers again. I want to see how that plays out in a real war. Otherwise, let's see if I can get close. Scott's got to be, like, right here somewhere. So let's see what's going on with him early and harass, because this unit's pretty good compared to what he's going to have. He'll have a warrior at best. So Athens is going to build a scout, start going this way, partly keep barbarians away. I'm going to have to deal with this camp, because as soon as I, cause I'm going to build a worker next, and I want to start getting this, I don't want to get pillaged. So the scout might just loop, or the hoplite might return, or I might build another military unit. Huh. Otherwise, I might just continue right along here, because it'll let me build hoplites outright. But that'll let me get this stone. But it won't really help me until I have another worker. Or at least a worker. Horses are real good, too, so knowing where the horses are actually would be good. Doing this so I could go for writing and the Great Library and such would also be pretty good. I'm going to go for horses... Because I actually do want to take advantage. I'm going to play an early military game rather than a completely domestic strategy. I'm going to build a moderate military early. I'm going to rush expansion domestic policies to get a settlement up here somewhere. We'll see what I see when I come around the corner. But see that citrus? And that incense? I might just, even though it'll be blocked off by Lhasa here, I might build a city like here right away just to create this wall and then when these are my allies it'll create a wall so Scott can't come in then I'll back settle here later yeah I think that's a pretty good strategy especially I'm glad I went with the faith healers and I won't found a religion anytime soon because I'm not going to be actually going for faith <laughs> 